Welcome to today's Zydo training using Zydo 5.0 Elite. We will be using Dr. Robert Cass's Physica Energetics products to do an examination body scan on our patient. Um, so we will uh, gather some information about what's going on and then um, show you on the screen how we run the scan. So um, what are your current symptoms? This is Laura. Um, right now I'm detoxing on the RCCP program and um, this is week two. So, so far, so good. <laughs> what are the body symptoms that you've been uh, encountering over the past month? Um, feeling tired, having um, heartburn, and drinking lots of caffeine, so getting tired in the late afternoons. Um, caffeine headaches when I stop the coffee. Okay, so um, we are going to open up the Zydo 5.0 and start a new session. And I give my patient a uh, simple non-alcoholic uh, san hand sanitizer. Go ahead and rub your hands together. And then we'll have the patient uh, place their fingers over each plate on the hand scanner. And we will begin by putting in stressors. So I'm going to click this little button here for stressors. We connect to the hand cradle. And now it's going to ask us for what we want to scan for. So using the home run formula of realizing that the sources of stress could come from emotional, structural, biochemical or environmental, we need to put in these sources to see how these things are affecting the patient. So beginning with mentally emotional, I will put in five elements and just select the five element emotional category, move that over to the add items for stressors and now we see that's over on the left hand side to be scanned. Then I will go back up to the search tool and we will put in structural. So I use the category of organs, glands, and systems. And you can see it has all of the major organs, but it also includes the central nerve system. And I will also add to structure the spine and this category here, which includes the disc, the nerve roots, and the vertebrae. Then we will put in biochemistry nutritional. So I will use the category of food as a possible source of what they're eating may be stressing the system. And then we will put in environmental signals and so we can put in heavy metals Do you have any mercury amalgam fillings? I I Okay, so I was asking the patient if she had any uh, mercury amalgam fillings. She uh, stated no, so I don't need to put in dental uh, as a, a source of additional heavy metals. And that's a good place to start right there. And so we go over to the add items category and I need to double click all to include all of the things that we moved over here and patient has their hand on the scanner and I click next 
and now the scanning begins and this will take about a minute to two minutes to scan all of the items the yellow lights on the hand cradle will indicate if the patient has lifted the finger which will stop the scan so if we have her lift the index finger you can see the index finger over here is not yellow anymore and the scanning has stopped it looks like it's scanning up top but there's no more activity uh, down below so as soon as the patient puts their finger back the scanning resumes so no information is lost it just goes into a pause mode sometimes if the patient's hand is not moist enough uh, we'll have them go wash their hands and come back or if it's an older patient we'll need to make sure they're having firm pressure on the finger sensors as they may uh, feel tired or you can just put your hand on top of their hand uh, it's better to have their hand uh, just uh, on the scanner so you're not putting your hand on the scanner you're just uh, directing downward pressure on their fingers to make sure there's connection to remind them and now we have um, categories shown over here in red uh, and the uh, Zytal scanner group them from higher to lower numbers. I'm going to go ahead and um, move all of these that are already pre-selected in red and hit next. The ones in green are already uh, balanced so they're, they're fine. And so we now have a visual picture of all the things that are out of balance or possibly stressing the patient. So if I pull down this screen here and take a look at the big picture. This is the job as the clinician, clinician uh, doctor to identify the trends so we don't just start recommending each category. We need to assess a big picture. So I'm looking at the top. I see kidneys, uh, which is part of obviously the detoxification pathway. The disc, uh, food groups, beans, and legumes come up the thyroid organ comes up, joints connective tissue comes up, grains come up, fruits come up, dairy and eggs, the vertebrae, arteries and veins, heart comes up, hypothalamus. As we get down lower these represent less of a stressor so again if we look at kidneys over on the visual diagram kidneys is here which is farthest away from this circle the circle represents homeostasis or ideal balance for where we want to move these categories into. So this red dot represents the kidneys that is out of balance, balances this circle here. So we want to move all of these guys inside the circle with recommended balancers. So I usually look at the first couple of items to see what's kind of stressing the system. And since we have kidneys and intervertebral disc at the top, um, I will <clears throat> recommend uh, to cleanse and support the kidneys. So I will put in, and we're just using the physical energetics category. So I will put in kidney support, and we have kidney right here. and the kidneys work together with the bladder so no organ is by itself so I will put in bladder um, urinary system okay so we're just putting in kidney and we'll see how that matches up and we see a uh, green which is a positive match for the patient so I item click to check mark that item I click next and then I highlight this product to put it into the circuit so I have a triangle next to the item that I put in as a balancer now I rerun at the top here I'm going to rescan and now it's literally looking at the future to see how this one item could have a positive change on the systems that are out of balance 
and we had a very nice reaction. We had everything shift back in. So I am going to ask my patient, uh, since the kidneys came up and kidney bouncer uh, showed a positive effect, have you noticed any challenges with your kidney system as uh, kidneys represent uh, urinary function, bladder function? Not that I know of. Um, kidneys also represent uh, lower back pain discomfort. Kidneys can go to the neck, the hips, the lumbar spine, the sacrum, the cervical spine. Yeah, my lower back is usually the, the part that bothers me. And as I look at my meridian system, it also uh, can cause you to feel uh, suppressed energy or shivering. And standing can aggravate it, as well as cold weather. And you will be peeing a lot more, as that will be the uh, function to rid the body of toxins. It can affect the ears, uh, hearing, head, hair, and bones. Any of those? Yeah, definitely. Going to the bathroom a lot. And um, that's really accurate. Yeah, definitely. I'm always cold. Chilled. Okay, so we will uh, support our patient and um, give them this additional product during their detoxification phase. So we use this scan to update our patient to help her in her healing pathway. Thank you for watching Zyto Scan 5.0 using Physica Energetica. I am Dr. David Yoder, February 22, 2013.